office to play the new Bionic Commando multiplayer, I haven't felt a multiplayer game where I felt more in tune with the environment. And I think the great thing about um, the, the mobility in Tribes was that as you were... Uh, it had, you know, gently s gentle sloping terrain that was all based off, you know, some kind of fractal map. And uh, there was a bug where if you went down the side of a mountain, you would start to ski. Ah, and you would ski. start and you would go faster. And like if you if you uh, if you knew just how just when to use your jets, you could pop out the bottom of a valley and get an immense lift. And you could be <laughs> in heavy armor with like you with not wearing the energy pack, so your jet pack would basically get you like two feet on flat terrain. But if you're skiing, you could launch yourself in heavy armor all the way across the map, grab the flag, and launch yourself all the way back. And it, <laughs> and it proved to be so much fun that they didn't fix the bug. Because like it became, a feature. it became a feature, and like mobility in games is fun. And like I said, I haven't felt that until the the new Bionic Commando. So did you have to have a real beast of a computer to run this back in the day, or did it run pretty well on a, on a modest system? I think I never, I was never the kind of person that had a super high end PC, and it would always run. But it definitely, when I first got it, it was you know I could get maybe 20 frames out of it, and uh, but you know a about a year later I would upgrade my PC and here I am you know getting 40 to 60 frames and uh, so yeah I think when it first came out it was probably pretty intensive how do you feel about tribes vengeance <laughs> we shall not speak of this <laughs> you, and you remember who made tribes vengeance right I know I know who do who made uh, Ken Levine the rational games uh, that yeah. at the time before yeah. it became 2K Boston. So yeah, Tribe Vengeance is kind of to Tribes 2 as Brotherhood of Steel was to Fallout Fallout 2. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it all, well, it all ties tri in. Tribes Vengeance I was really looking forward to. I, it was the first game that I actually previewed for GameSpy right when I first started working for them back in like 2000 or 2001, something like that. And I, I previewed it for them and I was all excited about it because it was supposed to be a prequel to the Tribes universe, but it would th they were all about you know making it work like Tribes worked, and it turned out to be just kind of a glorified Unreal mod, mm. and I it mean, never there, felt right. There are elements of like what would well you know irrational signature narrative telling, but yeah, it was like it didn't quite all gel together. But it was one of the games that like every chapter like you played a different person, and so there's one of like we're interlocking stories. And I think one of them was like Did you played the play little tribes for the narrative. <laughs> yeah, the, the, well, the narrative in Tribes Vengeance, there wasn't any single player in Tribes 2. It was a yeah. total multiplayer game from start to finish. And in, uh, But in Vengeance, there was supposed to be a narrative that was basically a tutorial for playing the multiplayer game. That's That was their goal, anyway. Uh, but I remember the prologue. I think the prologue was the one where you play like the little girl running away from the big bad armor.